ako. Oo, oh, alam ko kadire, di ba? Pero, I mean, naamoy ka ba nila kapag, <laughs> kapag online meeting, di ba? One thing that has worked for me is the concept of shark habits, which I learned from Dan John. Basically, the idea here is just like a shark, you try to chomp on as many activities as you can in one go. So here's something that I do usually. I eat and listen to a podcast, taking in food and knowledge at the same time. set up the the room para I could uh, have my classes over here. So, minsan kailangan namin maghiwalay ng workspaces ni Zell kasi she has meetings. And of course, pag nagsisigaw, hindi mo naman pwede mag go, go, go habang nag-meeting sila doon. Hindi naman pwede uh, last set, best set, tapos nag-meeting siya. Hindi naman pwede namin gawin ng sabay. Minsan, kapag uh, yung work niya, walang meetings, pwede akong mag-handle ng sessions dun sa workstation um, but if uh, yun nga, pagka gantong hindi niya, hindi siya pwedeng ma-disturb I turn this other room um, para and turn and convert it into a uh, mini studio, so lahat, majority ng mga classes, videos you've probably seen this part of uh, the house, and uh, what I do is yun, so just put the bed up, and then uh, gagawa ako ng sariling studio. At dyan ko ginagawa lahat yung mga demos for the exercises. At tapos yung gamit, tinulak ko lang siya sa side of that room. Ayun yung sikreto namin. <laughs> yung sikreto ko. Andyan lahat yung gamit sa isang side ng room. So, yup. So, mamaya pagka classes. So, mamaya I have like a, a isang class, isang one-on-one, sa isang team session later. So, yeah, sunod-sunod yun. Um, probably have like enough time to like catch my breath in between. But yun, I get to maximize at least with this one. But we're working with the sprint. So, we just try to maximize what I have in uh, small periods of time. So, just like your uh, sprint training session, di ba? Hindi naman kailangan ang sagad yung work all throughout. Just work with those meaningful short bouts that are 100%. You, you could like do your work with uh, more efficiency and uh, better quality, right? Just like your sprint training. <laughs> just finished with today's work so it's not uh tuloy tuloy lang nagdadal din ako for 3 hours so nag medyo pansin niyo diba rin yung voice quality ko no so yeah i mean you just always give it your 110% diba kay 150 ba at hindi 150% yeah just like uh, that sprint mentality always go all out in whatever you're doing and uh, that's what we're doing today all right so uh, sakto uh it's time again for another snack or a meal or whatever. Just have to eat something. I'm hungry. So, sobrang gutom ko kumain na ako agad. And uh, after that one, 
uh, dumating na pala yung pin, pinadeliver ko na um, cable management stuff. So, nainganyo ako ayusin ka agad yung workstation ko kasi nainggit nga ako dun sa pinapanood ko. Ito sa Facebook, di ba yung mga workstation ng mga tao. I mean, you'd want something that's really uh, conducive to working if you want to be able to work well. So, I took the liberty to get some stuff to uh, get uh, get my desk arranged. So, yeah. So, nakisang oras din ako pagkaayos. Pero, yeah, di ba ganda, no? So, medyo maluwag na konti. Mas, masaya magtrabaho. Um, anyway, so next, dapat nag-workout ako ngayon. So, that's what, I will, that's what I will be doing. So, buwat ako weights. So, usually, ganun talaga. Morning, mag-aano ako. Mag- I'll do my running, my sprints, and then buhat sa gabi. But sometimes kapag ka medyo busy, minsan nag-work, lalo na pagka dikit-dikit yung schedule, inuuna ko na yung buhat, tapos sa gabi yung takbo. Kasi at least pagka nagbubuhat ka, parang you just change your shirt and then get back to work, right? So, oh, alam ko kadire, di ba? Pero, I mean, naamoy ka ba nila kapag... <laughs> kapag online meeting, di ba? So, anyway, di ba? Pwede naman maghilamos naman as dumiretso sa online meeting. So, the magic of online meeting, take advantage of that one. But, yup. Yeah, anyway, yan. Yeah, di naman compromise yung service. So, might as well, right? Okay lang naman. So, make the most out of your routine. And I see that as one of the blessings of uh, the new norm that we have. So, anyway, yeah. Dami kong dal-dal. Kailangan ko na mag-work out. It's time to work out. Let's go! Getting feedback with my training is actually easier with my push band and my train with push app. So basically it records the speed of my lifts and uh, tells me if I can do one more rep or one more set or it's time for me to catch a breath. So I'm at 2 at point 38 right now. I'm going for power. Then this means that I could go heavier. Cool, right? All right. So I just finished with my workout. So I'm gonna make a uh, super shake, right? Since I'm hungry again and I need to feed myself. And I think hindi ko pa na abot yung aking protein requirement for today. So yeah, I'm gonna use the super shake to help me out with completing my protein intake. So yep. All right, let's go make that shake. My day usually goes like that. Um, I got to adjust because I know that when we started quarantine, um, my day would usually allow me to just go out and then go to my clients, especially when I started doing freelance. Um, of course, a little bit different this quarantine. Yup, major affected coming mga coaches because we're in gym for one, so we had to adapt really fast during this uh, quarantine period because everything has to be done. I mean, kailangan may work. I mean, for a person who eats a lot like me, I mean, kung malakas kain mo, kailangan malakas ka din trabaho, of course. So, we have to find different ways to get to work nowadays. And uh, in a way, major blessing din yung online training because for one, I'm not really a big fan of online to be honest because I know nothing beats one-on-one -on -one personal training being able to demonstrate the exercises with that person in the same room and get to teach them how to do the workouts but yeah this is how we adapt in this new normal and of course yun parang sa atin naman I mean it's either you try to adapt or you uh, find it hard to survive and this is my means of getting to work on to 
or being able to adapt. And then I started posting videos on YouTube because in a way, I still wanted to help people out. Now, I know not everyone, I mean, when it comes to gastos, I know, I understand that not everyone has the means to get training nowadays because it's right, toss up within one. Yung, uh, ano yung kailangan mo right now with work being a challenge for some of us as well. I know it's hard for some of us to be able to spend some money uh, a lot extra for when it comes to like getting personal training sessions. So I created this channel to be actually be able to at least get to share uh, stuff for free. Diba? That's a good thing, right? <laughs> at least I get to share some uh, insights, uh, some coaching tips, some uh, workout tips and at the same time some workouts siguro from time to time or how I prepare usually my meals hopefully you get to learn something from uh, each of the videos that I uh, get to uh, post from time to time so if you have any ano, uh, suggestions you can actually write the comments down below uh, sabihin nyo lang kung anong gusto nyo makita uh, ano ba yung gusto nyo matutunan uh, hopefully I could get to share them using this uh, YouTube channel so so pretty much that's how my day, how my day goes. Na try to make the most of what we have on a regular basis. Na I know na during this quarantine period we have more time pretty much on your hands. Because uh, before we used to spend majority of our days in transit, traffic, di ba? Uh, Lal nong dadan ka ng it's an like challenge nun. So right now, dahil sa bahay ka na lang, uh, minsan para makapasa ko sa work, you just wake up and then walk to your workstation. So, and that doesn't even last a minute, di ba? So now that you have more time on your hands, you can try to make the most out of your day and then work with uh, what you have. So with what I do on a regular basis, I kind of like adapt the idea on how I do sprint training, for example. Because when you do sprint training, very important that you get 100% out of your workouts. But when you do sprint training, you just go maximize best effort. And then you get yourself to recover again. And then once you're fully recovered, you get to go for a full sprint again. So the same time, the same, that's the same thing with uh, how I deal with every day. Na, just spend short snippets of time in doing some tasks and uh, try to maximize what I have during that short span. Uh, and then basically, parang sprint. Meaning, hindi ako masyado nagtatagal dun sa isang bagay. Na unless, okay, sige, fine kapag <laughs> sobrang kailangan mag-submit ng mga stuff for work, for example. But yeah, you get your full attention on something. And then, once you're good with that one, you just move on to the next task and go 100% each time you do each specific task. And that's how I get to maximize my day. It will not go perfect all the time. Sometimes, you're gonna tell yourself na, sige, pahinga lang muna ako. But that's okay. Uh, remember na, hindi naman palaging all out. Pwede rin naman pahinga. And then, that's what you can try to do. Just get to uh, listen to your body each time and then work with the way you enjoy. And at some point, yun nga, parang, you want to get to embrace what you like doing and ayun, uh, you just get to enjoy each moment each time and then just make the most out of everything all right so yep that's pretty much what we do for today um of course di pa tapos yung araw ko i just uh i just finished this shake Habang nanonood ako ng Ghost Fighter, kaka-upload lang niya sa Netflix. So, let me go try that one. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm probably going to be editing, eh, editing this video. That's it for today. I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share to your friends. Comment down below if you want to see more. I'll see you again on the next video. Good night, everyone.